Houston Interactive Aquarium and Animal Preserve. But we have the opportunity and we're gonna see who's brave so to go jump into an aquarium that has tropical fish, stingrays, and a few sharks. So it's gonna be super cool. Really gonna be putting the girls to a test to see who's brave enough. So this is Petrie. He's actually basically a baby. He's about a year and a half old, a little less he's actually. A baby? Yeah, he's a baby. How? He's gonna get about twice it? this size, if you can believe that. That's a big one. Okay, that's it is a big one. Well, he's a big baby, isn't he? <laughs> there oh, also yeah. might be some pellets. We can put some of the pellets that he eats in there too. No Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So what's cool about this place is like every single thing here is interactive. This is Lehi. He's about 18 months old. He's a big old baby. If you uh, get like enough like credits or whatever, you can like purchase like food to feed the different animals with. Why might he have a purple tongue? Anybody have any guesses? So it doesn't get sunburned. If it was pink like ours, it would actually get sunburned. Can you <laughs> you, you kiss Lulu. Lulu. Day with his tongue sticking out. So if you stuck your tongue out all day long, your tongue would get sunburned too. And he has a prehensile tongue too, so you can wrap that tongue around and grab things with it as well. Including cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see Keisha, I don't know if he's going to take this. Perfect. Oh, thank you. Is he soft or is he kind of rough? He's a little rough. Yeah. Little, little bit of both. Can you see her four eyes? Four eyes. Four eyes. Four eyes. Oh, Those little white spots her. right above her real eyes are her uh, replica eyes that help intimidate predators even when she's sleeping. It looks like she always has her eyes open. I wish I had a pet like this. Do you want a lemur as a pet? She's an ostrich. Is that an ostrich? Yeah. Look at these ostriches. They're massive. There's a baby. That's like a dinosaur. Baby. 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 It's an ostrich. Look at those, and this those creepy is eyes. the best day ever. <laughs> Look, it can't touch me. <laughs> Look, I'm going to start uncomfortable laughing. <laughs> oh, it's missing a toe. They're all like that. They only have two. I thought they had like three toes. That looks weird. He's ready to, to peck somebody's eyeball out. <laughs> Wait, can, can, I, can I do it now? Yeah. Kimmy, you gotta do this. You have to, you gotta do it. Are you gonna feed him, Parker? Yeah. Feel his feathers. <laughs> He's gonna eat it out of your hair. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> He's looking in there, that's hilarious. Very impolite eaters, that's for sure. He's like throwing it all on Blake. It looks really violent, but it's not that bad. That's like. <laughs> so much going on right now. <laughs> Kimmy, do you want to face your fears? Yes, it's a nice day. I'll do it. Come on, Kimmy. Kimmy, you got to face your fears. From that one traumatic event. You gotta, you gotta go with me. I'm like shaking, y'all. <laughs> I'm literally shaking. Shining armor. Come on, it's okay. It's been like 20 years. Look, they don't like me. I have a natural ostrich oh, repellent. Oh, sir. You gotta hold it up. You gotta hold it up. Kimmy, how dare you use your son as a shield? <laughs> <laughs> So when I was younger, my aunt used to have emus and ostriches. And she would throw, you know those little diving circles? Yeah. They would throw them over their necks so they would get distracted and we would have to run through their pen to try to like get to the pasture. <laughs> and they would chase us. And I was like this big. So thank you for that. But now you're not this big, you're this big. You can feed us yeah. ostrich booty. And she used her son as a shield. And I <laughs> Well, you did it, Kim Win. We have a small loop in here, and then we have our indoors, which is like our sloths and lemurs and stuff like that. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and his name is Kiwi. Kiwi the Cooper. And these guys are from really? Australia. Yay! Awesome. <laughs> He's like, oh, funny. Oh. <laughs> did you get it, Hazel? Mm -hmm. Didn't you get him getting them daddy? 
So just on the belly, we don't want to pet her face or anything. Never pet an otter before, huh, Blake? They also have a sweet tooth, he loves honey. And they will knock down beehives and eat the honey out of the beehives. And the fur is so thick that bees and uh, ants can't sting them. They can't crawl through that fur to bite and sting them. It's like sloths. Yeah, they, uh, sloths and ant eaters are in the same family. Ava, what's in that one? It's huge. He is a kinkajou. We aren't able to hold her, but you can pet her just on her back again. So I used to raise baby animals with my last job. I was like, all I did was raise baby animals. So when I moved here, they put me in charge of all baby animals. Dad, you need to touch it. Oh, what are you doing? He's like, do you want a piece of me? He's gonna jump out and jump on your face and bite your nose. Oh, look at his eyeballs. Look. He scares me. The bully eye. It reminds you of Ringo. Oh. Are you excited to finally see a small? Oh, it's like on the bridge. You might be able to see they don't have any front teeth at all. They only have canines and molars. So they have to use muscle to open their hands, and then when they relax, that's when they grip on them. I mean, this, this place is pretty crazy. Compared to like a typical zoo where you're just looking at all these animals from afar, it's so cool where, you know, pretty much every single exhibit in here, you can interact with the animals. You got the trainers and, and caregivers that are kind of standing by waiting for people to come in and will educate you and tell you all about it, but also, you know, we'll let you get in there and, uh, and just interact with them. So yeah, they, they taste the air and that's how they find their food. So they stick their tongue out and if the taste is stronger on one side, then they know that the, the food is that direction. It's so shiny that it makes a rainbow. He's doing this. He's doing what, right? Alright, it's gonna go around your shoulder. different uh, snakes and, and predator uh, like birds, so birds of prey, like owls and hawks and things like that. He keeps him saying hi, that bird. <laughs> we are saying hi to him and he says, he's waving his wings. And we're gone, on to the next thing, yep. <laughs> that animal can talk, I'm going there. <laughs> 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 he told you hi, Hazel. <laughs> Have you had fun so far? Yeah. 
So far, like, what's been your favorite thing here? The lame. Yeah, the lamers and uh, the otters. And the otters? They were both so soft. They were both so soft. Oh, he's got a belly scratch. You gotta scratch that belly. Supposed to encourage it, but <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Look at him standing up. Look how big he's getting. It's like a, it's like a little kid that you're fine with. Just, just hold him back. What? What is this? Patagonian cavy. And that means that means a kangaroo and a deer and a, and bunny. a bunny. That's interesting. How did he look? If you're wondering what this is, it's big, big. <laughs> Homegirl's got some big horns. And they are a cow with the largest horns, but in circumference. Petting zoo that is full of goats, sheep, and alpacas, so we can go. Pet oh, we love alpacas. We love alpacas and baby goats. Apparently this ostrich likes to dance, so they're trying to get it to dance. That's who she wants to dance with. <coughs> Ooh. <laughs> what? What does he look? What's first? Look how sweet. It's just for the baby goats, okay? <laughs> it's Oreo and graham cracker. That's so cute. Look, there's alpaca, Riley. Alpaca my bag. Alpaca my bag. I love them. They're so funny. Hello. 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 <laughs> Is that its face? No, I don't want to get cut that way. Now we're gonna grab a little pizza in this little cafe area. They got all kind of stuff, a bunch of different snacks and candy, but also what the girls just really love is all the games. They got all these bounce houses. All right, so now the next thing that we're gonna do, we're finally gonna make our way over to the shark and stingray tank. And we're gonna go do snuba and snorkeling over there. So it's gonna be super cool. So we're gonna see which kids are gonna do it. Not everybody's gonna wanna do it, I know that. Bye. 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 Cause I